Oh, what is up guys? Welcome back to Cross Out. Today, we're going to be checking out all of the new weapons. They are crazy looking. There's some really cool ones. There's a side turret. There's a new shotgun, a new automatic grenade launcher, a automa another automatic grenade launcher, um, a new spear, a new minigun. There's like a bunch of different things we're going to look at. And then there's some increase to like weaponry, other weaponry stuff. So, Let's go in here and look at this. We've got the side turret. So just ignore these uh, glowing ones. Uh, we've got the, the side turrets. These have great accuracy, reduced energy requirements, limited fire angles. 260 power score. And uh, essentially, I think you would just slap these on the side here, which is freaking great. Um, because that is uh, something that kind of has been missing. Let's go ahead and let's... Kind of clean this up a bit. This is just one of the faction ones I just threw on real fast. Alright, so let's see. Am I not able to put that on there? Maybe it has to be... Yeah, just... It's too close, so it has to be actually out. You know what? Actually, let's load in... Um, let's load in this thing. Uh, where is it? This is one of the pack ones you get. This thing, Tramp. Yeah, this would be a little better. And this has six of eight, so we've got some space to work with. So this is kind of what I'm thinking, like, you'd have these on the side of something like this. I always rotate it the wrong way. And you'd have it, like, on the side of, like, something like this right here. You know, obviously in a far better way than what it is right now. We're just going to throw this off, because we're going we're gonna to test out all these things. See what they do. See, you know, how like, how much damage they do. So we could have like a ton of these if you want to like up to the energy obviously that is required two energy drain for these So let's go ahead and uh, do I have I have a little crappy thing out there, right? Oh Look at that. Okay And they obviously move So, you know, you're facing sideways. It's just a little simple machine gun. It looks like And then we have limited range obviously it's not bad. It's it's decent damage. It's good something good for a side turret. This is what that one guy had. We saw uh, a guy had this, and I was I didn't even realize that he had it at the time, but I remember seeing this. So huge cooldown there. So obviously, you know, think of it like a you know machine gun. You want to make sure you have a look at that overheat on that thing. That is sweet, man. It's just kind of basic. That's why it's 260 power score. It's just kind of an add-on. Um, we've got Spitfire Shotgun, which are like these are side-mounted too. Uh, deadly at close range, reduced energy requirements, limited fire ang en uh, angle. So, like this has two energy drain. This has three energy drain. So it's like side. It's a side-mounted thing. So it's a little bit less power score and a little bit less uh, um, energy drain. Damage is a little less too, so that's not bad. That's kind of cool. I, lo I like the look of that thing. These are sweet, man. These are these are just like the basic stuff. We haven't got to like the new really good stuff yet. I'm so excited. Like that grenade launcher. That guy was wrecking everybody with that thing. In the oh, this is crazy. Uh, this is gonna be weird this week. Videos are out of order, so. I made a video, uh, didn't realize what was in it, and so that video will come out later, like a lot later, because I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making videos on these new things throughout the week. So, yeah, so it's just a it's just a basic shotgun. It's not, it's not anything great. It's not anything bad though. So that's the shotguns, uh, and then we have the this new this new gun, MG 13D minigun. So damage, fire rate, overheat. Damage, fire rate, overheat. So this is like a step below. So if we go to factions, uh, what is it under? Nomads. And we go to manufacturing. The retro's in here. Ooh, the grenade launcher. Manufacturing. Here's the minigun. Wait, so how do you acquire the other minigun now? It wasn't that under here. Oh, or do you have to get it through seasons? No. 
Huh, I wonder how you uh, acquire that now. Maybe just through buying it or something. So this is the new minigun. It's m more than likely pretty much the exact same as the other one, I would I would imagine. Just a little... Because uh, it's like, it's one thing less in rarity. So, um, the damage, fire rate, range... Oh, range is significantly different. Range and accuracy. Accuracy is about the same, but range is significantly different. So we have maximum rate of fire and overheating threshold needs time to spin up. Um, so this has max fire rate, but it has less range and way less damage. Uh, I guess it's not bad if you're if you're gonna be able to get this a little sooner on, you know. Then that's a that's a that's fine. Not, it's to be expected. That's still like a ton of damage, though. Think about. Think about how much damage this is. Com and then, you know. Oh gosh. That's a lot of damage still. That's like pretty significant. So that's nothing to like cry about. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. It's new stuff, it's gonna be great. Um, okay, so let me look at that actually. What did it take to make that? I always go there, why? So, for this, you need. 10,000 scrap, 10,000 wire, that's quite a lot. And 2,000 copper, which is not that much. But we do need defender side turrets, though. Defender side turrets. That's not bad. 10,000 scrap, though, that's a ton. Um, I can't wait to, like, the game comes out so I can actually use my other account. Because, like, I'm, I'm not going to go through all the effort of using it just to have it wiped, you know. So, um, I'm kind of waiting for that, if you guys were wondering. Uh, okay, so then what else is new? We've got the Retcher. So let me just scroll through here. Okay, here we go. So we have this thing, which is the AGS-40 grenade launcher. Automatic grenade launcher, difficult to use, but has great destructive power and unlimited ammo reserves. Five energy, 113 structure. Uh, pretty good damage, really good range. Accuracy sucks. Fire rate's not that great. So uh, let's throw this. I can't throw this on here. Let me just take this cab out and let's put the truck cab on. Oh crap. Wait, we can actually do this cabin. So we're just doing testing. And I have a uh, point of energy in that thing. There we go. Doesn't matter what it looks like. I don't know why I even just did that. Alright, so there we go. We got the two grenade launchers on there. Now we're about to find out. Man, that guy who had a, that grenade launcher build, was, yeah, that thing was pretty good. So we got good range here, so let's... Holy crap! That damage is insane! Does it have splash damage, I wonder? Let's see. Yeah, it's got a little splash damage. You know what? I could see this thing, since it's mounted on the side, being a really, really good like. Uh, look at that! See how that's mess. See how that's a uh, kind of difficult to shoot like that. Let me try something. So that guy had the grenade launcher mounted up on these things. He had it above, like this. So he had it like that right there. And he had it mounted up. So I wonder if, oh no, he had it also, He I don't have to watch the video, but I think he had it hanging over too, like upside down. So. Let's do this right here. Just this is obviously not like a very good uh, a good setup for this thing, but we're we're just doing some testing here. Oops. All right, there we go. He he had him kind of like that because now there's more. There's like a lot more limited like light more uh, range and so we're gonna be able to fire it a lot easier
That's insane, man. That that amount of damage. So quickly? That's why that guy was wrecking everybody. They, they fire so fast. That's so much damage. That's amazing. The freaking nade launchers are great. Oh my gosh, that's insane. And these are just the base ones. 745 power score too. That's not a whole lot. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, here's the Wretcher. <laughs> oh man. This thing looks incredible. Wait, how much does that require? Six? Six. So we need to throw on a gen generator. Where are they? There we go. Just throw it right up there. Alright. There we go. So let's see what this thing does. These things are crazy, man. Oh, look at the uh, the crosshairs. That's something to keep in mind. All right, here we go. See, that didn't even move. So it's just way more of a spread. So if anybody gets up on you with this thing, you're dead. You better freaking run away if you see anybody with a build like this. Look at this damage. Look at that damage, man. That's crazy. Yeah, if you see any builds rush you with some, with these things, you better freaking run away. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. Uh, let's load in. Where is it? There's one in here. Let's load this thing in. I'm missing several parts. What am I missing? I'm missing a radar? What the heck? Strange. Okay, this has got 1700. So let's test this. 1700 HP. 102! Two! That's crazy. That's a ton. Let's see how fast they go. we go through that, though. Oh my gosh. Those are, those are shots. Because this is crazy, man. I want, I want to like test its DPS. So we've got a big ammo box on there and it puts us up to 102, which is like completely, it's unneeded. Definitely unneeded. Oh, there's others, there's spears too. I almost forgot to check a look, take a look at those. Okay, just watch the damage. 205, 593, 586, seven. Dude, there's like multiple hits over 400. This is this is just crazy, man. Just crazy. All right, let's look at these spears here. And to do that, we're gonna get the wow thing. Uh, okay, so we took we checked out the Spitfire, the AGS. We checked out Retcher, um, the minigun. So there's one more thing, and it's the Lancelot enhanced enhanced spear. Um, so those should be right next to, wait, let me just look and make sure there isn't anything else now. Missile drone, tech drone, nope, nope, nope. Um, dude, here it is. So explosive spear deals damage to target on contact, 145. Uh, okay, middle, middle range, it's like pretty much right in the middle of damage. The spears, pretty much right in the middle. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. That's awesome. Oh, snap. Do these have explosive tips? How, did, how are these mounted? There we go. Oh, man. Oh, that looks freaking awesome. Here we go, new spears coming at you. Lancelot. That was that was anticlimactic. <laughs> so they they definitely have explosive tips on them. Kind of look like RPGs almost. 783. How about we move these out a little bit? 783 with that, huh? Uh, 
gonna stack them. Oh, I don't have any more of those. Okay, there we go. All right, let's let's see what four Lancelot spears can do. New weapon hype. Oh, I've got boosters on this thing. Oh, what did I hit? Oh, what was that hit for? I didn't see the number. That looked like it was a pretty big hit. Let's try it again. All right, here we go. Hey! Nine, nine, eight. I keep moving, so I can't really see. Dude, so the new spears, uh, you know, here's the thing. <clears throat> the new spears, the explosive spears, have a little bit more power. I uh, mean, a little bit more, like, actually, do they have a little bit more damage? They're, like, the exact same, but they just have way more power score. So it's, I don't know if that's necessarily, I don't know if those are worth using. They look sweet, though, but I don't know if I would use them, personally. So, needless to say, guys, those are the new weapons. I think I looked at everything. I don't think I left anything out. Uh, I'm really excited. The other things that were changed, uh, grills reduced damage penetration. Mammoth cannon damage increased by 26%. Uh, then rounds were reduced to 14 uh, reload time increased. Heavy machine gun damage increased by 25%. Rate of cooling reduced. Firing rates reduced. Reaper auto cannon increased. Spread reduced. Heating rate reduction reduced. Cooling rate increased to 2120. And then there's some hardware stuff. So guys, those are the new weapons. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this look at those things. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one where we'll be testing out some of these new weapons in battle.